So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 28. Which of the following lines are asymptotes of the graph y equals x over x plus 1? So, in order to find vertical asymptotes, we can look at the denominator, and we can ask ourselves the question, what candidate values of x would make the denominator equal 0? So, x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals negative 1. So that makes 2 look like an interesting candidate. And the one thing we want to just check for is to make sure that that factor, that x plus 1 factor in the denominator that made the denominator equal 0, doesn't cancel with a factor in the numerator. And in this case, it does not. So we can be sure that x equals negative 1 represents a true vertical asymptote and not a removable discontinuity or a hole for this situation. You can also put this right into your graphing calculator and just look at it. You'll see a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. So we're keeping 2 in, which is great news because we can eliminate A, C, and we've got to choose between B, D, and E. Um, Looking at the first one, x equals 1, the only way you can get a vertical asymptote is by making the denominator 0. So 1 doesn't do that. So I think we should throw 1 away. Um, that means we're going to toss D. So now it's just a matter of if 3 is in or out, that'll allow us to choose between B and E. Uh, y equals 1, that's a horizontal asymptote at 1. Let's examine the end behavior for this thing. As x gets infinitely large, the higher order powers in the numerator and denominator take over. So the 1 becomes insignificant. We could say as x approaches infinity, y equals basically just x over x because the 1 becomes insignificant, which equals 1. So that truly is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So we want to keep 3 in, which means we like e the best. You can do the same analysis by letting x approach negative infinity, do the end behavior on that side, and you'll still get negative infinity over negative infinity is 1 either way. So we got that one, and that one, and it's E. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.